Mojo bags are basically a prayer or a spell in a bag. Um, most uh, practitioners consider them to be a living thing. Um, and I'll show you why, because you're going to breathe life into it when you make it. It's called by other things, um, a toby. Other type of, in different cultures, they're called different things. Uh, if it's a nation sack, it's normally carried by a woman. And that's to keep her man or to attract a man. Uh, it's a gree gree bag, it's often called. Um, that usually you find in um, New Orleans because the gree gree is French, which um, basically means a fetish. When you make one, uh, it's traditional to use flannel and it should have um, odd ingredients like threes, sevens, thirteens, kind of big. But some people also will put an additional ingredient like their signature, whatever their signature herb is. Like if you like um, marjoram or something, you might put that in each one. So I'm just going to use three ingredients to make a reconciliation bag. Three things that correspond with reconciliation, which I have lavender, violet leaf, and we're going to put in a lodestone. You want them to be fairly small because you, most of the time you carry it with you. If you're making a love or passion one, you may make it even smaller because some people would put it in their underwear or their bra and keep it with them. The style I'm making in this style is called um, a flaming comet mojo. And you can actually use these bags too, which have drawstrings. I just like to use this particular style. So I've got lavender and violet leaf. And then I'm going to put a big lodestone, which lodestone is um, to pull things towards you. It's a magnetic stone, so to attract things. <clears throat> you just gather up two corners, the other two corners, and get it ready. That way you can gather it up. And then what you actually do is you breathe life into it. You can pray over it. Sometimes you would put a petition inside if you wanted to write out what it's for, someone's name. You could put in things like hair, fingernails, something that connects you to a person if it's about a person. And just kind of gather it up. You're not supposed to open these again once you make it. It would be like doing surgery. So I like to do it really tight. I tie it on one side. And then I tie it again on the other one. And then I come back and do it twice. So that's tied off. And then you come into feeding a mojo. But you would feed it with whatever oil corresponds with it. So here's reconcile oil. You would basically just get a little bit on your fingers and dab it onto the mojo. And you would do this every time it felt like it was getting lifeless. You know, if it, you know, it's like it felt like it's losing its energy. You uh, just feed, what they call feed it. Some people might feed it with Florida water or like a Hoyt's cologne. Or maybe you just wanted to freshen it up before you fed it. Kind of like cleaning it or giving a bath. So you would give it some a little bit of Hoyt's cologne. Or you can put them both on there. It's up to you and your intentions. Um, another type is called a jack ball, which is interesting. We don't have any here. But it's but you're basically doing this except you're going to take all those ingredients we used and mix it in beeswax and begin to roll it into a ball and when you get it into a ball about this size you begin to wind it with red thread or yarn and at the end of it you leave a tail on it and you can also use it as a pendulum so yeah once you um have this and you breathe life in, life into it put the appropriate herbs in it for whatever condition you're doing there's how to make and care for a mojo bag.